Recently, South Korea unveiled fully functional female robots. So in today's video, we'll talk about how South Korea recently debuted completely functional female robots and how that will affect events going forward. If you're curious to learn more, be sure to watch the video. I am incredibly proud and humbled by this distinction to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with citizenship. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the notification bell button to stay updated on world politics, finance, international market space, and anything else in the world of technology. A woman flaunts her stunning appearance and dance abilities in a YouTube commercial for an insurance provider. Within a month, this advertisement had more than 10 million views. She's a virtual human, however, something that the general public originally missed. Messages like, I want to search for who the model was and couldn't believe she was a virtual human, and it's remarkable how lifelike she is given that she's a graphic, was sent by those who were surprised after learning about the discovery. The era of virtual humans is now in its prime. The uncanny valley, which is a barrier to the creation of virtual people, has been overcome by a realistic virtual human thanks to the advancement of artificial intelligence, AI. Masahiro Mori, a Japanese robotics engineer, developed the uncanny valley idea in 1970. It states that when humanoid things, such as robots, approach a certain level of realism, people become uneasy. Like Lil Magula in the United States, Aima in Japan, and Shudu in the United Kingdom, many nations have begun to deploy virtual people as influencers or commercial models. In this area, Korea has also demonstrated great technology. These four Korean virtual persons have realistic faces and distinctive personalities, and they converse like real people. Koreans may be keener than many markets to regard artificial intelligence as a component of the solution rather than the problem, since they are technology sophisticated, socially conscious, and extremely pragmatic. Instead of fearing an AI apocalypse, people are figuring out how robots might improve their lives by resolving a wide range of social issues, from the minute to the massive and impending. A group of friendly employees will guide you to the closest lounge at Ichiyan International Airport, ICN, which is located outside of Seoul, the capital of South Korea. They are also quadlingual, well-trained, and well-behaved, yet they struggle with small chat. They are robots, so that explains it. Since the end of July 2017, robotic airport guides created by Korean electronic giant LG Electronics have coexisted with human workers. They have a wheelbase, are 1.4 meters tall, move independently, have an LCD information panel, and use cameras, ultrasonic, laser, and edge sensors for navigation. They can also process words and recognize voices. As South Korea prepared to host the 2018 Winter Olympics in the city of Pride Chang, in the country's northeast from February 9th to 25th, other robots were also making news. The towering Method 2 from Hancock Meyer Technology, which is billed as the first manned bipedal robot in the world, is another. The Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technologies, DRC HUBO, a humanoid robot with transformer capabilities, was the 2015 winner of the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA, Robotics Challenge. Another airport robot created by LG employs mapping and obstacle avoidance technology to determine the most effective routes and maintain a spotless environment. Advanced technology with the deployment of robotic teachers, factory workers, and service personnel. South Korea and its eastern neighbor, Japan, have long been recognized for their cutting-edge intelligent designs. Together, they make up a workforce of the future where autonomous machines are taking the place of humans in many occupations. According to Jai Myung Hung, a senior engineer, LG Smart Solutions Division, artificial intelligence, robots, and related solutions are not just new toys, but critical technology to help humans. Robots may occasionally carry out tasks that are too dangerous or complex for human workers. In old tradition, South Korea is entrenched in both a familiar old world and a bold new one as it races towards the latter. This old legacy, which is rich in spirit-filled trees, mountains with souls, and animals with their own goals and dreams, may have had some influence on South Korea's current technologies. If not for one bear, who was as relentless as she was positive, the innovative powerhouse might not even exist today, at least if Korean folklore is to be believed. Over 4,300 years ago, a tiger and this bear were perched high on a mountain. Both of them desired to be human. The son of the Lord of Heaven, seeing their plight, gave them two sacred foods, mugwort 
and garlic cloves and instructed them to limit their consumption and avoid the sun for 100 days. Impatient, the tiger gave up right away. But the bear persevered and finished the challenge, changing into a lady who later wed the Lord of Heaven's son and gave birth to a son of their own. He assumed the throne and ruled the nation under the name Dagon. As a result, an animal with highly human aspirations is responsible for the founding of the Korean kingdom. Every October 3rd, the country commemorates its founding myth, which is just one of several animal legends that make up the core of shamanism, the oldest religion in the nation. According to Kwang Yang Shin, a sociological professor at Chung Ang University in Seoul, shamanistic beliefs are still rooted in the Korean psyche and have an impact on business, politics, and ordinary life in Korea. It is not uncommon to believe that a passing bird could carry the reincarnated soul of your deceased uncle in Korean shamanist religion, many of whose fundamental principles have been incorporated into Buddhism. It is also not uncommon to believe that a special object or musical instrument may have its own sacred spirit. No matter if it is a natural or man-made object, Shin said, we can consider that any form of non-human being might have a spiritual or super ability beyond human capacity. Given all of this, South Korea may not need to worry too much about the possibility of other non-humans, such as robots, developing human traits. Dong Kang Kim, a shamanism expert at Sukang University's Institute for the Study of Religion, said, It makes sense that animalistic qualities of shamanism may blend well with robots, which are not living agents, yet have some characteristics of human beings. Ancient spirituality may have prepared the Korean people to accept autonomous gadgets with greater cultural and social openness than perhaps Westerners. With this welcoming mindset, South Korea developed into a prime consumer market and breeding ground for sophisticated robotic innovation. Greater innovation and greater acceptance. According to the International Federation of Robotics, South Korea sold the second most robot worldwide in 2016 with more than 41,000 units. That is left than half as many as in China, a country with 95 times the area and more than 25 times the population. In actuality, South Korea has the largest global density of industrial robots. According to IFR, there are 631 robot employees for every 10,000 human workers in the manufacturing sector and 2,145 out of 10,000 in the automobile sector. Some South Koreans are worried that this may lead to fewer jobs for themselves, but for the majority, the worry ends there. Major media outlets predicted that many Koreans would lose their employment, but that was it, Kim remarked. Since then, concerns about robots are hardly heard. Consider the end-of-the-world scenarios presented in American mainstream movies, such as The Terminator, The Matrix, and iRobot, as well as the apocalyptic rhetoric of some of the country's top tech figures, like Elon Musk. 72% of Americans are in fact very or somewhat concerned about the future of automation, according to a recent Pew Research survey. No need to panic Koreans isn't as alarmed about the prospect of robots taking their jobs, staging a coup, becoming superior and unstoppable intelligence, or even destroying the very people who developed them in a Frankenstein-like fate. It's obviously far more complicated than that. The Korean people have also understood a specific need. Thank you for watching.